My name is uh, John Ridman, and I'm happy to be part of uh, uh, the roundtable uh, uh, meetings uh, which UNIP has uh, 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 prepared here in Belgrade. Uh, my company, GEAR, is, uh, let's say, very happy to have the opportunity to come and show the latest innovations of, in this case, uh, uh, chillers for especially the purpose of phasing out uh, R22 uh, uh, chillers everywhere in, uh, on the globe. And with our very compact design, we have made a solution uh, which can actually go through an actual door uh, to, uh, to help uh, our customers to change out the R22 uh, systems. Um, I think my uh, uh, opinion about the meeting is that uh, uh, it's, it seems that there is an, uh, a general trend that uh, everybody wants to go uh, towards a natural refrigerant. Um, we are also uh, uh, going for sustainable solutions, CO2, ammonia, hydrocarbons, uh, uh, in our company, so we can only uh, support that. I think another thing is that when you are listening to those people who actually have to change R22, um, it doesn't really ring a bell that we are presenting the latest technologies uh, because they are facing other problems when they uh, uh, are meeting the customers. The biggest problems for these people is that the customer is only considering first cost. He don't care about uh, uh, operating costs or, or carbon footprint at all. Uh, I think the only solution for this one is that the governments of those countries are squeezing up the price of the refrigerants or making other alternatives where they can stimulate the use of, for instance, uh, natural refrigerants in those markets.